Safely and permanently immobilizing radioactive liquid waste is a key mission at the U.S. Department of Energy's Savannah River site. This highly radioactive waste is a legacy of nuclear weapons production created during the Cold War. To safely dispose of this waste, the Defense Waste Processing Facility was built. It's the largest radioactive waste classification plant in the world. This facility, known as DWPF, began operation in 1996. It converts the liquid radioactive waste currently stored in waste tanks at the Savannah River site into a solid glass form suitable for long-term storage. Scientists have long considered this classification process called vitrification as the preferred option for treating radioactive liquids. DWPF reduces the risks associated with the continued storage of radioactive wastes by immobilizing the radioactivity in glass. Over 30 million gallons of radioactive wastes are now stored in numerous underground carbon steel tanks at SRS. This waste has millions of curious of radioactivity and requires permanent isolation from the environment. The radioactive waste in tank storage exists in two forms. First, there is a sludge that is higher in radiation. Then there is the salt form, which contains both high-level and low-level constituents. The sludge makes up a small percentage of the waste volume, but contains nearly half of the curies. The majority of the waste is in the form of salt. DWPF is dispositioning both the sludge and the long-lived isotopes being stripped from the salt, such as cesium, plutonium, and americium. The stripping process is being accomplished by another set of facilities at the site, known as the actinide removal process and modular caustic side solvent extraction unit. This innovative approach treats and decontaminates radioactive salt waste removed from SRS storage tanks. These facilities are the first in the nation to process salt waste. All the SRS liquid waste facilities are operated by Savannah River Remediation for the Department of Energy. To turn waste into glass, a sand-like borosilicate glass called frit is mixed with the waste and sent to the plant's 65-ton steel and ceramic melter. In the melter, the waste and frit mixture is heated to nearly 2100 degrees Fahrenheit until molten. This molten glass waste mixture is then poured in a pencil-thin stream into stainless steel canisters to cool and harden. Each canister is 10 feet tall and 2 feet in diameter. Typically it takes a little over a day to fill one canister. A filled DWPF canister weighs about 5,000 pounds. After a canister is filled, the exterior is blasted with a frit water mixture to remove contamination. A stainless steel plug is fitted into the neck of each filled canister and the canister is welded shut using a current of 250,000 amps applied for 1.5 seconds, while 80,000 pounds of force simultaneously rams the plug into the neck of the canister. The resulting weld is as strong as the 3 8 inch thick stainless steel canister itself. A specially designed shielded canister transporter moves each sealed canister, one at a time, from DWPF to temporary storage buildings adjacent to the facility. At the storage buildings, canisters are lowered by the transporter into an underground reinforced concrete vault. Glass Waste Storage Building Number 1 stores 2,286 individual canisters, while Glass Waste Storage Building Number 2 can store 2,340 canisters. These seismically qualified storage vaults can hold about 8 to 10 years of canisters at the current DWPF production rate. The canisters will be safely stored at SRS until a federal repository is established. The Defense Waste Processing Facility reduces radiological risks to employees, surrounding communities, and the environment with each canister poured and vault filled, ensuring a safer future for everyone.